So, a bit of a discovery today. Turns out the Portal RTX AMD mod from Nightsight Productions, which is designed to push FSR, pretending to be DLSS, into um, NVIDIA DLSS, only supporting uh, RTX Remix productions, particularly Portal, but it turns out not only does it work for RDNA 4 using the RDNA 3 patch, um, uses uh, FSR 3.1, but it also works. Um, no, I think that was it. it <laughs> what am I saying? You can use it on RDNA 4 cards. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm going to show you this at 1440p. It's got some. The install is really easy. Just copy some files over into a into a folder that they give you the name of inside inside this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th yeah. That's it. It also works in Half Life too. That's the whole point of this video. It doesn't just work on Portal. It doesn't just work on RDNA three. It works on RDNA four, and I reckon it's going to work on most uh, most RTS Remix games because they've got the same sort of file structure. Can't be guaranteed. I've had a couple of crashes while I've been trying to run OBS to record this. But let's run it. Let's run Half-Life 2 using the Portal RTX AMD mod and see what we've got. Will it crash? Will it work? Oh, it's quite a bit of time to load this up. Like we had a six second pause then, we've got no response. One frame per second. Let's have a look. So it's Alt-X to get into this menu. I've already got DLS enabled. Let's start off on um, TAU. Good to know. Watch the memory memory usage just absolutely massively increases there. Um, start off on the standard. So this is on the standard temporal anti up upscaling that you get. We're getting 21 frames a second. Uh, it does not feel so good. But this is generally the experience if you've got an AMD card. You can't enable fluid motion frames in the drivers or on the Windows side here. Um, yeah, but with this, you can enable DLSS with this mod. It's not DLSS; it's FSR pretending to be DLSS. What am I getting now? There we go. Up to 60 frames a second there. Oh, dipping down to 50. We've got ultra performance as well on top of this. Hang on, let's just. Um, Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's just show that this is definitely FSR 3.1. Check out these railings. Look at that, what a mess. What a mess. So yeah, every time you move, it's not too bad close up. But yeah, far away, you can see the way it just mashes up everything behind it. And this is worse, because you're starting from a lower resolution if you go to ultra performance. Did it? What do we get in there? <laughs> Up to 130 frames per second. That is crazy. Ray tracing on them in the AMD card. I've never seen the like. Um, yeah, you can see the smudge. If we could enable FSR 4, then that would be a lot better. We can't, which is a shame. But yeah, right, I think scary stuff's going to start to happen. More scaring me shooting a head crab in the head. So, um, yeah, let's leave this. How would I like to play this? That's a question I like to answer. Balanced? I think that's going to be too slow. I think balanced is generally going to be too slow. Yeah, I mean, 50 frames a second. It's quite nice. If I could stick fluid motion frames over the top of this, it'd be better. But I cannot. Can't stick FSR 4 to make it nicer. So, yeah, that's what we're stuck with. But... FSR 3.1 on this game, it's, it's much, much better. Really so much better. You can get more performance. Um, I think performance is the one to go for. You can get more performance with messing about with the rendering. I've got minimum light balance to zero. That's actually higher than the default. Volumetric lighting, I found that tends to mess up on uh, AMD. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. See, let's start that business. 
So volumetric lighting really does add to the atmosphere and it's a shame it just doesn't seem to work well on AD AMD cards. Well, it's not AMD cards. I'm sure the cards can do it. The drivers is what lets it down. Take that off. So basically you can go as high as you like on these settings, but um Oh, I have V-Sync on. Yeah, I mean, I guess the absolute fastest is going to be taking that down like to that. Still, lighting's pretty good, but yeah, we're up to up to seventy-three, and the lighting isn't quite as good as having more bounces. How do I use this thing? I've not played this game before. Let me just show you the um. Show you the start of the other level, see if that works out. Why have we got all that volumetric business? Let's just see what happens if we turn on the volumetric lighting in this. I'm gonna crank that up just for show you how that affects performance. It's um it's still playable, but I don't know why I've not always been getting this smoky atmosphere on this. I don't think it's the intention of the game. Maybe it is. Don't know. Oopsie. Yes, yeah, it's feeling a bit slow now. We're down to 37. Must have a pole gun. Well, yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> that's something wrong with that rendering. <laughs> anyway, I see a lot. Yeah, so, well, I really, I think that's impressive. Um, not even meant to work for RDNA 4 GPUs. You just use the RD, RDNA 3 folder when you follow these instructions. Uh, enjoy.